This is your world. We're just living in it. Wait, just because they're being a fake friend to somebody else doesn't mean they're gonna be a true friend to you. Go, let that girl go, let that boy go. Obviously, you don't tolerate disrespect when being spoken to. Let them go. It's no. Hey guys, welcome back or to my channel. My name is Jerry Queen or Jerry for short. I'll be definitely doing a girl talk video. I don't remember the last time I did a sit down video because I've been doing vlogs and other types of videos, but hold still. Like, people like me can't have rolly chairs, like, don't know how to act. Like, sit down, like, chill. Eh. But before we get into the video, you can follow all my social medias my Instagram, my TikTok. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for more videos. But anyways, let's get into this video. I posted on my Instagram what topics do you guys want me to talk about for this girl talk video. And you guys get topics, of course. The first question is, what helps you focus during school life and balancing out life with school? I think they were basically saying, what helps you focus your school life and basically your outside of school life? How do you balance that? I don't. I don't. And if I had the answer to that question, I would give it to you. Like, I would dead give you the answer. I don't balance them. I literally just got out of school not too long ago. I've noticed that I don't know how to manage my time by myself because I was always going to school. Like, I have so much time on my hands that I don't know what to do with it because of the way that I use my time in school. Because I was constantly in school. They always gave us something to do. We always had work to do. We always had an activity to do. But now it's outside of school. I can't really occupy myself by myself because I was always given something to do but that's something I'm working on doing because I'm going obviously going to college soon you know time management <laughs> management 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 okay girl speak time management is one of the biggest things that everybody struggle with and I'm very much looking forward to finding that answer for you and I would want to know that answer by myself because as you could probably tell obviously I don't know how to manage my time outside of school and in school because if I did, I would have been way more consistent for y'all on YouTube. But anybody that know the answer out there, please let me know. Give me some advice or you can be my life coach at this point. Another question is how to learn to love yourself slash self-confidence tips and advice on where to start. Honestly, I get this question a lot. I come off as a person that don't really care for what people have to say to me or about me and before I did not care at all but as I got older I became more self-conscious and started comparing yourself to people I mean to compare myself to people which is the number one thing that you should absolutely not do everybody has their own life everybody has their own name everybody was built different and this is the only body that you have this is the only body that you're going to get like unless you do like plastic surgery and become Kim Kart like that's different but this is the only body that you have this is the only body that you get this is the only body that you get to live in might as well learn to love it yourself and in a unique way I'm one that completely believes in the mindset and I feel like your mindset basically sets off an aura for the rest of your life or whatever it is that you do along your daily life so if you constantly have a mindset of like okay i don't like this part of my body or i don't even like myself or i'm not even all that anyway so th i don't deserve this or this person not gonna like me because i look this type of way or i'm not even gonna do this because i look a certain way no you're literally limiting yourself i am a personal believer that this is my world and you're just living in it. Everybody should always have that mindset. Like this is my world and you're just living in it. You are the main character of your life. You need to own that. Because who else is the main character in your life? It's your life. It's literally your life. But like to gain confidence, I feel like you just need to, one, call yourself stupid in the mirror because at this point that's basically what you're doing. Debilitating yourself is, this you're doing that to yourself you're basically doing something dumb like you need to sit down and accept the fact that i this is my life and yeah another way that i know that um that i personally was able to build my self-confidence was being nicer to people and boosting other people's confidence honestly like don't front and give people compliments just because like you need to like genuinely be able to communicate with people being more open actually helps build self-confidence and um being outspoken helps you build your confidence because it allows you to be like oh i was able to communicate to 
to somebody something that I liked about them or I was I helped somebody today so it made me feel really good about myself so it makes you want to do that more often and not only be nicer to other people but also be nicer to yourself because you see that it's gave a positive impact to other people so you might as well just start doing it to yourself you know daily affirmations is always something that one should do even if you don't believe it it doesn't matter you don't have to call yourself beautiful I feel like people be like call yourself beautiful in the mirror say you're strong yes that is that is um, true but I also feel like like speaking on your day helps build your confidence because you're going through your day and having oh snap and having faith that you will have a good day and no matter what it is that comes your way you will overcome it it might not have to be today it could be tomorrow so it's not just about your looks confidence is not just looks in my opinion but it's you know it's the main one that everybody struggles with the most it's always it's also your ability to interact with others and your impact in others lives so if you're always constantly feeding other people negativity negativity is going to always come back to you because i believe that whatever energy that you put out is the energy that you get in your life and it might not even be the same in the same form that you're expressing it so if you're constantly expressing negativity to other people you're only going to feel negativity coming towards you and you're going to hate everything about yourself you're going to hate everything about your life so it's not just looks you have to start with the way that you your daily routine your daily interactions and then your looks well not necessarily this the order but it's all three of them start working on all three of those then you will become an even more confident person how to deal with not feeling embarrassed in public this is your world we're just living in it think about it like this everybody does the most wildest things and everybody either records it or go sees it and goes about their business nobody's paying attention to you as much as you think they are People are going to say things to you or about you, but at the end of the day, whether it's positive or negative, they're going to speak. People are going to say things to you. People are going to talk about you because that's what people do. That's what we do. We talk, we talk about people. We, we say things to people, but it depends on how you react to it. Like, I do a lot of embarrassing things. I publicly embarrass myself. I don't care. Sometimes I do it on purpose. Sometimes I don't do it on purpose. But it's like, first of all, that's just my personality. And second of all, who's telling me what? Who's really telling me what? What is somebody really gonna, are you gonna die? People walking in the street, they go to work, they go in a shop, they go in a store, they go in a somebody house. Everybody's on their own business. Nobody's really paying attention to you in public. It's just because we know that everybody's watching. We wanna be like, oh my gosh, that's so embarrassing. I don't care, it's your world. It's a free world. Well, oh, oh. I do know fam that nobody's really paying attention to you so that's all I can really say on that topic or really say on that topic right now fam don't cover my English accent <laughs> nobody's paying attention basically that's it point blank period the importance of stepping out of your comfort zone I think that stepping out your comfort zone helps you to unleash a part of yourself a part of yourself that you didn't even know existed could have existed or was even possible to exist it helps you develop new talents it helps you level up helps you meet new people because now if it becomes your interest you could be able to network with people and make friends and spend time bro is it blurry or i'm bugging yeah develop new ta talents hobbies make connections make new friends it's very uncomfortable but yeah you can't you can't progress in life if you aren't uncomfortable and that is something i'm still learning myself this whole video is just not me coming to y'all and like attacking the topics and stuff this is also for me personally because i feel like we all are on a self journey we all on a self-development journey i'm not perfect sure <laughs> damn not perfect i don't even know what the hell i'm doing with my life right now i started roller skating that was outside of my comfort zone i mean i did it in the park like years ago when you had to pay for the skates and pay for admission at the park but then i ended up getting my own skates and i taught myself how to roller skate i'm i'm a self-taught roller skate all i'm still learning a little bit more tricks yeah but oh this hairstyle is outside of my comfort zone i'm not gonna lie i never did this hairstyle uh, before obviously but it came out cute and whatever it is that you do do it like do it just start it don't keep saying that oh i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do this because if you keep saying you're gonna do it you clearly don't have a passion to do it because you clearly haven't even started yet when you want to do something 
just start you don't need the the most newest equipment you don't need the most expensive products you don't need you don't just start with whatever it is that you have or reach out to somebody if it's a if it's a hobby or something reach out to somebody that you know that does it or somebody that you know is good at it tell them that you want to do that and they're gonna politely teach you if you know if they're willing to but talk to people let it be known that you you want to do something and if you don't know you want to do something try just try new things i feel like make a do a reflection on your life and notice that i personally realized that i was not going anywhere with my life and it was nothing new happening so i'm like you know what i'm gonna try something new and i just tried a couple new things and it was fun it was cool self-reflection reaching out to and reaching out to people will allow you to Step out your comfort zone and develop new talents, make new connections, and unleash a new tra a new part of yourself that you didn't know you had. Yeah. Um. The next topic is toxic relationships slash friendships. Listen, listen. We're gonna <laughs> listen. Fam. Drop it. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go, fam. You don't need it in your life no more, fam. You don't need it. Let it go. Let that girl go. Let that boy go. Get that. Let that auntie go. Let that uncle go. Let that uh aunt go. Get that mom go. Let that dad go. Whatever relationship or friendship that it is, let it go or let them know. Either one does not matter. As long as you make a change in your life and you're not holding on to that for so long, because some people don't want to let go they don't want to let go because they be like oh my gosh i'm scared i lose this person oh my gosh i'm too scared to confront them oh my gosh da -da 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 -da. you're doing yourself an injustice sweetie let it go once a relationship or a friendship no matter if it's with a family member or with a significant other with a friend a stranger a teacher anything as long as it's becoming toxic that either means that's it that's the that's the that's the threshold that's it for them being in your life or something new is about to unleash for y'all for y'all relationship most of the time it's option a but you know some people like to hold on to it and wait and wait and wait till a person changes or they i don't, I don't know what people be waiting for but as long as you feel like their friendship is toxic let them go it's no though i will hold you by your neck and you're literally feeding your life negative energy toxicity for a for no reason be able to like communicate with them or sometimes if they don't want to listen to you just completely cut them off and i've had that happen to me a couple times i was the one to be cut off i was the one cutting people off because they just felt like it was okay to take advantage of my time so i started moving different because they don't understand that what it is that they were saying or doing to me was clearly hurting me and you know i'm not gonna lie we're not all perfect we're not always gonna be the good friend sometimes i have situations where i was not being a good friend and people just completely cut me off and i totally respect that it's your energy it's your life so you got me out of your life and that is okay it's my energy it's my life so i got you out of my life and that is okay get rid of the things like it's just like clothes like old clothes that you don't want no more you get rid of it because you don't want it no more it serves no purpose in your life anymore a dead plant is you just can't keep watering it you can't keep it's not gonna grow sweetie it's not gonna grow okay it's not gonna grow yeah I don't know what you're feeling a dead plant for. Let, let it go. Let it go. Oftentimes, toxic relationships allow us to realize that we're wasting our we were wasting our time. We're spending more time worrying about such and such person, what such and such person person is doing, how how I'm gonna satisfy such and such person because I so value the bond. When the bond starts breaking, we're still trying to hold on to it, and that is perfectly fine. But it really comes to a point. Where it's like you just have to stop trying to bring it back together. Some people just simply don't want that bond with you anymore. I personally had a situation where I did not like how things were going in my household. I will say that. How things were going in my household 
and it was really eating me up it was really eating me up very bad i was not focusing in school or none of that i was not talking to nobody i didn't want to talk to nobody i didn't want to have nothing to do with anybody i just wanted to stay by myself and that is one thing like holding on to these things cause you to change I and mean, like you don't progress in life and you lose connections you lose fun time with people and you just start being alone and feeling alone and feeling lonely and feel like nobody's there to listen to you in a place full of people full of people full full of people so i was tired of feeling that way and then i wrote out everything i literally wrote out everything and read it to my family like we had a civil conversation words were exchanged it was like i didn't know you was feeling this way or this is what we could do to change it or i'm sorry or we could do such and such or i don't know basically moral of the story was we had a civil conversation as people as human not mother to daughter not father to daughter as person to person and sometimes we tell we need to let go of titles in order to progress or in order to let go of people father boyfriend girlfriend aunt uncle auntie cousin it doesn't matter who it is it doesn't matter the title you need to let go of the title and look at it from person to person because sometimes we tend to like not want to talk to the person because oh that's my mom oh that's my cousin oh that's family that's blood or oh, that's my best friend no oh, that's my friend no it doesn't matter let go of the title and just speak to them person to person human to human obviously you have to be respectful obviously you don't tolerate disrespect when being spoken to yeah you need to know what you want in your life and you need to own up to your life and know this is time being wasted this is time somebody asked me about the new york experience after moving here i was born in connecticut i was raised in st lucia until i was nine years old i lived in new york until i was 12 lived in connecticut until i was 13 came back to new york when i was 14. i will say that new york is a country by itself I don't know if the person was asking me how is New York, but from my personal experience, New York is cool. It's okay. Like, it's okay. Would it be a place that I see myself living here forever? Absolutely not. I want to be here. It's, it's ghetto. It has a lot of nice opportunities for your career and, you know, if you want to be... Whatever it is that you want to be, New York has it. New York has everything. And New York has too much. New York has way too much. New York has rats. New York has things that creatures new york has creatures in the train cart not talking about animals but it's cool i don't know you have to live in new york to understand it i think it's just because i'm used to it so unfortunately the normalcy of the the unusualness in new york is 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 a tolerable state but i will say that my experience in connecticut was trash it was dead if i have to compare it it was garbage don't I don't know. I don't like Connecticut. I don't like Connecticut at all. It was boring. There's no bodegas. There's no subway. You have to drive everywhere. And the, the community that I was living in was predominantly Hispanic. Me no hablo espanol. Like, I don't speak Spanish like that. I only took Spanish class for two years. And that was basically it. That don't mean I speak Spanish. Um, being the only black girl was, it wasn't was uncomfortable. It was just weird. But I will say that I like New York for its diversity and it's it's quickness in a lot of things new york is new york man i don't know somebody asked natural hair care so me personally i'm a natural hair guru i always loved my natural hair find the right products for you don't try to use somebody else's routine that you see on youtube because you don't need you don't know if it's actually gonna work for you you need to actually study the results of your hair know your hair know the porosity sorry yeah i'm sorry yeah i'm about to get into this whatever know the porosity of your hair know the density of your hair know how much heat your hair can retain know how much product your hair can retain before it's too much build up how, like well, how much is a tolerable amount of build up and too much build up small tooth combs are are your enemies don't use those i personally believe that it's everything is in your scalp so if you're washing your hair mainly focus on your scalp not so much rubbing your hair together don't rub your hair together like you're washing clothes causes breakage thing about hair is that it only grows when there's a limited amount of tension hair growth is all about length retainment if you're constantly putting a bun and then putting a ponytail on the bun but listen, you have a bun listen right i haven't done a bun about? in a what minute stop about? 
Oh, wait. Stop. Okay. Oh, right? Okay. Stop. Okay. I'll have another okay. fun in a minute. Got it. But if you're constantly putting a ponytail or a rubber band at the end of your hair and putting it out, you're pulling out hair in a rubber band. If you're doing rubber band styles, oil the rubber band so that the friction from the rubber band is not rubbing against your hair and then breaking your hair. It's so many little things about your hair. Also, oil is not a moisturizer. Oil locks in moisture. You can't use oil as a moisturizer for your hair because oil dries. Oil is just like a, a liquid supplement to provide nutrients to your scalp. It doesn't provide moisture. Moisture is moisturizer. Moisturizer provides moisture, not oil, okay? Moisturizer or grease. Wear, wear your hair how you want to wear it. If you wear your natural hair, that's you. If you don't wear your natural hair and you like prefer protective styles, that's also you too because you know, you're, protect, you're protecting your hair but make sure you're moisturizing your hair under whatever style that it is that you're doing. Moisturize your scalp under whatever it is that you're doing. Also, if you're doing providing heat in your hair, make sure you have ton of heat protector or coconut oil because some coconut oils are heat protected themselves. So you also want to keep your your hair healthy <laughs> be patient with your hair sometimes if you're like trying to grow your hair you probably shouldn't be so impatient about the hair growth because if you're constantly paying attention up to the length then it's not gonna grow you're gonna be like oh my gosh my hair is not growing you need to just leave it alone and focus on the health because when you focus on the health first that's when it's gonna start growing don't think about oh my gosh check every wash day <laughs> like now nah, I'm playing you don't need to check every single day oh okay we'll see but it's okay you need to be patient with your hair i don't know people say hair is just hair but to me hair is not just hair me my hair has pronouns her name is her Jay, shut up oh my God. somebody said hygiene i feel like if we still have to have this conversation in 2022 i just live oh live live daily twice daily or even more also check yourself some people i don't understand how people are like older and they don't keep up with their hygiene they don't smell their perspiration i don't get it <laughs> i don't get it till this day i don't think i will ever get it because i feel like at this age like if something is not going with you you know try different product at least three to four songs have to play for the duration of your shower if half of one song played go back go back like go back like what do you want why, why are your feet dry and your face wet like also your hair has a lot to do with how your skin is but make sure you get every single part of your body including behind your ears your ears your ears your belly button everything that is on the exterior of your body make sure you get that okay even between your toes also you know invest in a scent if that's something that you like it don't gotta be something strong it don't gotta be something um masculine it gotta be something really sweet or soft moisturize your skin very well invest in a nice skin routine don't gotta be one from youtube you invest in a skin routine that works for you Somebody said fake friends. First of all, you will know when your friend is being fake and if they're being fake, they're not your friend, so immediately get rid of that title of friend. Me personally, I don't really have much friends. A lot of people say I have a lot of friends, but in my opinion, I don't have a lot of friends. If you like are called friends, they're, you know, they're, you know, there's friends, associates, and people that were friends but became family. And I strongly believe in that if I'm being completely honest because you will know when a friend is being fake always trust your intuition always touch trust your instinct but don't always trust the word of every other person if you hear something about somebody a situation confront the person about it confront the source about it and don't feed into what it is whatever it is that you heard manipulators start rumors the foolish spread them and the ignorant believe them but i know confront them confronting people it's quite hard. You don't have to do it in a, you know, oh, I heard you were talking about, da, 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 da. no. Start a casual conversation with them and gradually build towards the topic. Like, if it's like something that you noticed yourself or like it was a first-hand experience without you being being told it, uh, you could cut them off. It's okay. It's perfectly fine. I don't know if that's a bad thing or a good thing, but I'm really good with blocking people, not talking to people anymore, 
not reaching out to people anymore and that's okay like people come into your life for a reason and a season and i strongly cringe at that saying but it's like so true being able to enlighten your social awareness allows you to detect those things very fast don't be too quick to um hop on trends or like like jump into a friend group or jump into an event or be like call somebody your friends because y'all go to parties all the damn time or y'all have a common interest in something i don't even know what that is that's a for that specific reason type of person always be vigilant and scrutinize their their interactions with people like how they act towards people when they're around and when they're not around and that should be able to spark whether or not they do the same thing when you're around do they talk about other people that they usually show that they're close with behind their back because they might be able to be talking about you wait just because they're being a fake friend to somebody else doesn't mean they're gonna be a true friend to you keep those things into consideration just because they're showing that they're a good friend to you doesn't doesn't mean that you should be able to tolerate everything that they're doing if they're being a fake friend to somebody else you need to point that out because you never know when it's going to be your turn yeah that's all for this video that's all i have that's all the topics that you guys gave me i hope you guys enjoyed this video it was a really calm nice sit down video of me just rambling and talking make sure you follow my tiktok make sure you follow my instagram to keep updated with my day-to-day -day life or whatever it is hooligans or nonsense that it is that i'm, <laughs> that I'm doing or just pictures that i post uh make sure you like subscribe for more videos if i made you laugh smile or giggle throughout this whole video because i'm not funny all right i mean i'll be funny okay i'm funny i don't care what you i don't care what you say you say i'm not funny i don't care i'm funny anyways bye All these is my sons. <laughs> Bitch, I'm back. <laughs> I'm popular the man. We don't cast. Last, last. Now everybody go talk me for shy.